Okay, so today I'm going to do a review of a monitor and monitor stand. And uh, if I didn't show you what I've been using, you probably wouldn't understand why a monitor and a monitor stand were so important. So what you're looking at here, and I'm gonna try and hold the camera as steady as possible, is a Lilliput field monitor. This is a seven inch LCD display. Three years ago, this was the cat's meow. And you are looking at a Manfrotto flexible mount. It is the cat's meow. And a Manfrotto clamp, which is also the cat's meow. I think you could probably you know, hold an elephant with that thing. And then you're looking at some little pe cheap piece of Chinese junk that uh, disintegrated. Um, it used to hold the monitor, and it certainly would never have held it out that far. So anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to review a monitor stand that I bought from Amazon. And I'm going to review the Acer monitor that goes with it. And then I'm going to shoot some other videos today. But I wanted to show a little bit of what goes on behind the scenes, because I think there's a misconception that... YouTube videos just magically appear and magically look and sound great. And the reality is there's a lot that goes into these things. Okay, so we're filming again. I had to rearrange that uh, field monitor because it wasn't close enough. And uh, I apologize if I look like I'm in vaudeville. I'm using a pair of 1000 watt halogen construction lights. And behind me, to this side, you see a bathroom that's being worked on and this will eventually be a closet one day. And that is a cable that I don't think works very well. So I'll throw it over there with the rest of some stuff in this room. So, uh, and, and of course some cola to make my project that much more successful. So I bought a tripod specifically for this monitor because I figured that field monitor is not doing that fantastic. It's been dropped and banged around and it's a little persnickety and it uses a Sony camcorder battery and quite frankly, I can't find the charger for that battery. So, you know, it's got four bars right now, but there ain't no telling how long it's gonna last. And I wanted to up my game so I can produce better videos. So I bought a Audio 2000 S. I don't know if that's the brand or the model. Okay, that is the model, is an Audio 2000s Taiwan. The part number appears to be ASP40Y. So that's Apple Sam Tango 40Y. And it looks like it came fully assembled, which would be a minor miracle because, you know, normally when you buy something from Amazon, it comes in as many small pieces as they can figure out how to make it, and you get to put it together and have it, what I refer to as the IKEA experience. But this manufacturer looks like they did a great job. Hardware, some instructions written by IKEA. Oh, it does have a little bit of English on it. You know, and I, I get the impression this thing was designed for karaoke because it has a couple of microphone holders built into it. We won't be using the microphone holders. But this is a nice tripod. And that was part of the reason I bought it, is I thought it looked really sturdy. And it looked like some place that would be safe to like a monitor. So, without further ado, let's uh, slip this together. Uh, that ain't gonna work quite that fast. So, these are the microphone holders. Um, I think they're gonna go in the trash, but I'm gonna hold off on that for a minute. And we get to mount the monitor to this, so let's see if it's compliant with the flavor of Visa that ViewSonic uses. Uh, 
Now this is a ViewSonic VA1938 WA LED packed with some horrible for the environment styrofoam, some instructions and a CD, also completely unnecessary. Hey ViewSonic, in case you haven't heard about it, it's called The Web and most people who have a computer have The Web and they can download whatever was on that DVD CD that I just threw away. And most responsible manufacturers have switched to using cardboard to protect their products because cardboard recycles. And the city of Houston actually has a pretty good recycling program. So this is a nice little stand and a little bezel for the stand. That also will recycle. I chose this monitor because it was cheap and Sonic monitors are actually quite good. Um, I have a fleet of about 60 of them that I manage at work and over the course of three years I've had one of them go bad and we have them mounted on uh, monitor arms and my colleagues are not exactly gentle with them. So I'm going to peel off all the bezel protection here. monitor. And one other thing you can do with these bags and nice monitors is use it as work service to avoid putting the inevitable scratches on it. Oh, and it does look like it will fit. Now the question is, do we have the right screws? Well, looks like we're going to get lucky. The screws that came with it actually do appear to fit into this monitor. So let me put this together. I think it's really convenient. They include an Allen wrench with Phillips screws. Way to go, guys. I wonder if I have a screw gun up here. Probably not. Well, let me go find a screw. My Harbor Freight's finest and cheapest screwdrivers. Um, they're actually really nice screwdrivers, just don't hit the end, don't use them as chisels because the plastic is cheap and it will shatter and the handle will break off. But, you know, what did you really expect for $4.99 for a package of seven? On a serious note, uh, screwdrivers are like cheap ballpoint pens. I consider them to be disposable. So there we go. We've got this mounted. And I got to say, this is a really, really nice monitor stand. We needed one tool so far and it was a Phillips screwdriver or and just in case you're not familiar with the American name for a, a Phillips screwdriver is the one with two slots that cross so I've got a uh, Amazon basics HDMI cable I've had really good luck with these cables you know I was really uh, a little worried when I saw that Amazon started producing products, but they've turned out to be remarkably well behaved. One of, oh really? Okay, this was supposed to have an HDMI adapter on it. Ah. Let me go get my HDMI adapter. I'll be back. Okay, so um, it's been a while since I ordered this, so it looks like I'm stuck with the VGA input and I had to order a HDMI adapter for it. Uh, that should be here in a little bit. But uh, I'll go ahead and finish the review because 
quite frankly, for this video, it'll work just fine. So this is a lot easier to do while the monitor is on the table. And now I've got to remove all the excess packaging that the manufacturer uses on their cables. I feel sorry because somewhere there's somebody who has to twist these little ties on here and put this, put this plastic on here. And I wonder if they know that it's just going to go straight into the trash as soon as the buyer gets it. Seems like a giant waste. Okay. Okay, so I've got the monitor mounted and it's adjusted and you know, this is pretty sharp. It looks like it could actually go pretty high and I'm almost certain that this stand was intended to be used with a monitor for karaoke. I'm going to chuck the microphone stands because I have no, or the microphone clips because I have no use for them and this will be just fine for my purposes. I unfortunately can't put it to use today because I don't have a uh, HDMI to VGA adapter. For the Canon series of cameras you need a mini HDMI uh, connection. So this also has a, a, a tilt with a lock on it. This is a really really nice stand and it was well worth the 40 or 50 bucks. So uh, with that Thanks for watching my video. I hope you found this interesting and insightful.